Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MPWF Smackdown. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we kick the show off with our general manager here, MVP, making his way to the ring. Obviously, MVP has come here to address what has been going on in recent weeks here in the MPWF. Vermongo has put it upon himself to challenge MVP to a matchup where the winner will have sole control of both MPWF Raw and MPWF Smackdown. This completely changes the entire dynamic of the MPWF, and I guess we're about to find out the decision of MVP here tonight. On Raw, our last show, Vermongo said to MVP that he had to make the right decision, that he does not have a choice. He is going to have to accept Vermongo's challenge and take part in this matchup. He's going to have to find a tag team to face the natural disasters with the winner winning a shot at being the Raw and SmackDown GM. So we'll see. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, MVP has chosen to accept. MVP is going to find a tag team to take on the natural disasters at the bash and I'll hang on a second. Oh MVP came prepared tonight, MVP is not going to let what happened last week happen again this week. Backstage lookout, the SmackDown roster is watching for the natural disasters. This is huge news, the natural disasters will not get to invade SmackDown like they did last week. Big news there by MVP ladies and gentlemen. But here we go with our opening contest ladies and gentlemen. As per usual, every single week on SmackDown, only exclusive to MPW SmackDown, where we start the show off with some cruiserweight action. This will be a non-title matchup, as El Masco will take on White Boy Fresh. And ladies and gentlemen, if White Boy Fresh defeats El Masco tonight, he will get a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship at the Bash. So a lot is riding on this matchup for White Boy Fresh. El Masco watched last week as we saw that amazing triple threat matchup kick off the show in Puerto Rico, in which White Boy Fresh was able to pin KJ Stevens and Brian Barbados. So we'll see how White Boy Fresh does in this matchup or how Moscow Luchaderes does in this non-championship bout here tonight on MPWF SmackDown. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have been starting rather abruptly here on Friday nights for SmackDown here in the MPWF. But you've got to understand that MVP is a no-nonsense guy. He prefers more of a wrestling basis. Therefore, SmackDown is a more wrestling show. So if you love to see more wrestling than talking, MPWF SmackDown is the specific, the best core show for you to see and right now ladies and gentlemen there is white boy fresh white boy fresh challenged el masco for the cruiserweight championship at mpwf metal the pre-show to SummerSlam, and unfortunately got caught by a hurricane rana that sent him for the three since then white boy fresh has been on a warpath to get back a shot at the cruiserweight championship and he has the opportunity to defeat el masco tonight and hopefully gain a rematch for that cruiserweight championship this is all white boy fresh has ever wanted was a singles opportunity for a singles championship. White Boy Fresh wants to have that first singles championship that he has yet to get in his career and he has the opportunity against El Mosco. And White Boy Fresh there trying to show his dominance and El Mosco Luchaderes heading to the outside of the ring and What's this? Oh, El, El Mosco, I think he's backing away. El Mosco doesn't want to fight White Boy Fresh again. El Mosco had a, an intense match with White Boy Fresh. No DT on the stage there by White Boy Fresh. And White Boy Fresh has come to get a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship. And there he goes. Irish Whip sending El Mosco back inside the ring. I'm saying it has been just complete confusion. The, the world It's been a world of mess here in the MPWF in these past couple weeks. Since Ver Mongo decided to hire back the natural disasters at SummerSlam, I mean, talk about a domino effect. You brought in two of the sickest bastards ever to come into the MPWF, and it has completely destroyed the MPWF in a matter of two weeks. The natural disasters, they returned at SummerSlam. On MPWF Raw, they attacked two SmackDown superstars, and oh, what a move there by El Masco Luchaderas, missing though, and now going for the armbar, this white boy fresh. We have Fujiwara armbar, and now, oh, big elbow to the back. 
as I was saying before, the natural disasters. They took out two SmackDown superstars on Raw. They then came to SmackDown and took out Apollo. And now on Raw, Veramongo is declaring war on SmackDown. Veramongo wants control of everything. He wants control of the entire MPWF. He wants to be the general manager of both shows. And he gave literally Vermo MVP no choice. I want a fireman carry there by White Boy Fresh. He gave MVP no choice whatsoever. MVP had to accept, and he did. Therefore, now at the bash, we're going to see a tag team matchup for Bragging rights and how coincidental that we're having a match for bragging rights before our next CPP which will be MPWF bragging rights when we head to the Smackdown vs Raw 2011 on the PS3 and that's going to be a completely new change in the MPWF that I cannot wait for and I want a shoulder block there by White Boy Fresh going for the cover here we go one two and oh El Mosco Luchaderas gets the shoulder up now White Boy Fresh Irish whip Sending El Mosco into the turnbuckle. And now, oh, missing the clothesline. El Mosco gets out the way. And now El Mosco, oh, kicking White Boy Fresh in the gut. What a punch to the face there. And now El Mosco, oh, what a drop kick there by El Mosco Luchideres. Great athleticism by El Mosco. And now El Mosco heading to the outside of the ring. Oh, inside to out with a cross body. Going for the cover. Here we go. And White Boy Fresh gets the shoulder up. And now what you got to think, ladies and gentlemen. Right you see right... Oh, what a move there by El Mosco. What you see right here are two SmackDown superstars. How will they feel once if Veramongo becomes the general manager of SmackDown? How will Veramongo treat SmackDown talent? I mean, that's what you got to think about. Oh, what a bulldog there by El Mosco off the top turnbuckle. Not wanting to lose this matchup. Here we go. One, two. Oh, kick out by White Boy Fresh. El Mosco would love this to be the last time he has to fight White Boy Fresh. And El Mosco off the top rope. Missile drop kick and connects. And I'm saying if MVP wins, I mean, it doesn't affect them. But it will affect Raw superstars. I mean, like I said before, the complete dynamic will change here in the MPWF. And what a jab there by El Mosco. And El Mosco Irish whip sending White Boy Fresh in the corner. What a power slam takedown by El Mosco. And El Mosco feeling it, knowing that he is in control of White Boy Fresh. And now Irish Whip, White Boy Fresh heading to the outside of the ring. Now El Mosco, oh no, White Boy Fresh fights back with a forearm. And White Boy Fresh diving to the inside of the ring and all hits with a crossbody on El Mosco, the Cruiserweight Champion. And now Fresh sending El Mosco into the ropes and oh, another shoulder block there by White Boy Fresh. White Boy Fresh doing everything he possibly can to get a shot back at that Cruiserweight Championship. And another shoulder block off the ropes. White Boy Fresh picking up El Mosco. Shoots around the waist to a waist lock. And oh, here comes the Blue th Thunder Power Bomb. What a move there by White Boy Fresh. And ladies and gentlemen, could we be seeing the 411? Could we? No. El Mosco getting up. Not allowing White Boy Fresh to hit the 411. And oh, White Boy Fresh diving at El Mosco. Now punching him in the face. And here comes White Boy Fresh, former member of the Mass Murders Malicious Intent, former MPWF Tag Team Champion, looking to win his first singles championship. And what a fireman carry there by White Boy Fresh. And now Fresh picking up El Mosco. Oh, kick to the gut. Now with a headlock. El Mosco in a world of trouble right now. And oh, another beautiful back suplex there by White Boy Fresh. And now White Boy Fresh picking up El Mosco. And now, oh, shooting around for the waist lock. And here we go. Russian leg sweep. And now Fresh picking up El Mosco. And now what? Oh, shooting around again with the waist sock. And now here comes the Blue Thunder power bomb once more, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and could we be seeing the 411 now? And no, El Mosco gets up again, preventing White Boy Fresh from hitting his move. But we'll see you after the break.